Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 18th GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about um, some more of locking in GIMP. So anyway, uh, locking is, uh, in the last tutorial I showed you, um, right here, design mode, whoops. Um, so if I'm just, you know, I made something here, I lock it, as you can see, you know, when I scale the layer, it's going to scale the thing too. So, you know, that's fine and dandy and all, but uh, there's this other thing I want to tell you. It's not just the scale tool. It's also the rotate tool and the shear tool and this and even the move tool and I think gauge transform, uh, flip tool. Yeah, all of these are transformation tools. So it's all going to um, lock. So if I move... So if I had these both locked and I moved the layer, it would move the path. If I uh, rotated one, it would rotate the other. Also, another thing I want to tell you about. Uh, let me see. Oh, whoops. I actually duplicated the path. I meant to duplicate the layer. But uh, whatever. Let's say, uh, just to make this visible, I put the uh, layer right here so it's like, just over half of this actual uh, box right here so you're going to um you can actually lock layers together if i move one of these layers or transform it i mean it's going to uh, edit the other layer and you know you can actually um it's not you can lock more than one thing if you want um you know it's not just it it doesn't have to be just paths and layers, it can be just layers, or it can be literally like, you know, like 50 billion layers or whatever. And you can even do the same thing with color channels, I think, but, uh, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so you can lock as many things as you want. Another, another thing I want to tell you about is, um, if I, uh, go right here, so, uh, add alpha channel. Let's say I have part of this image transparent or something like that. Like, you know, uh, whatever. So anyway, the point is that, um, you know, if I just start painting randomly on here, you can see that it goes onto both, you know, the transparent section and the non-transparent section. So, um, one thing I want to tell you about this is there's these couple tools here. Lock alpha channel. That's going to take everything in the alpha channel, um, not everything in the alpha channel, I mean, that's actually incorrect, but I mean every 100%, um, you know, all of the 100% uh, transparent pixels, and it's going to not let you edit them. So, um, and I got that uh, brush with um, a little bit of a soft edge just so I can show you this. So, uh, whoops, actually. So if I um, try to go over here, it's going to let me edit these pixels, but it's not going to let me edit the transparent ones. Now, I want you to see what happens when I go over the um, soft edge. Let me just zoom in a bit. As you can see, like, you know, there's a little bit of a, a transparent lip here. Um, it's letting me edit, you know, um, the pixels over here. Like, just right above here and right below here, this area right here. It's letting me edit those ones because they're partially transparent. But the 100% transparent ones, not happening. So I just wanted to let you know, if you have, like, you know, um, a soft edge or something, it'll, um, you know, edit that too. Um, so it's not just, you know, everything transparent. So anyway, if I uh, fit image in window, um... Another thing I want to tell you about, if you um, lock the alpha channel on one layer with it selected, and you go to the other, it's not going to be selected. As you can see, the blue around that square disappeared. Um, so yeah, just so you know that both of you know these layers can have different um, lock settings. Another thing I want to tell you about, lock pixels, um, is uh, kind of the weirdest thing I ever saw. Uh, it won't let you do anything. You can't edit the pixels on a layer at all. Like, I can't even paint over the transparent ones. I mean, this is weird. Um, it's kind of, in my opinion, I guess it's useless. 
but I have no idea what this does. I've tried to look at documentation, I can't find any, um, so if you guys happen to know what this is, please comment, um, and tell me what it is, because I have no idea. And speaking of, um, weird stuff, um, there's this other thing right here in the, um, in the paths, um, thing, there's this thing called lock path strokes. Now, I also, um, have no idea what this does. Um, so if you guys could please tell me, um, in the comments section, um, that'd be really great. Um, so yeah, so that's, um, yeah, I covered those two things. Yeah, I think this is it for this tutorial. I, uh, hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.